chapter 15, lesson 3, is about vertical and horizontal lines. So, uh, vertical and horizontal lines. So, let me write these down first. Vertical versus horizontal. Okay. So, vertical is technically upright versus horizontal is technically lying across this way. Now, when I was a younger child, this was one of the harder things for me to remember. What's the difference between vertical and horizontal? So um, the way that I look at it is if you look at the horizon, that's horizontal. So we teach our kids when they look out, that's the horizon. So that's horizontal. Okay, so um, the questions that we will be answering will be on page 128. Okay, so this is quite a manageable chapter. So you, you as parents need to make sure that you're enjoying this with your kids. Okay, because in the next lesson, it starts to be difficult again. Okay, so um, the questions are up again on page 128. And there's a drawing. Okay. So the questions that are asked are to identify on the pictures which ones are horizontal and which ones are vertical lines. Okay, so the vertical, I'll start with the vertical, vertical lines. Okay, so those are the ones that are standing upright. Now, this cannot be a vertical line on its own because there's only one point. So a line must be connected between two points. So we cannot say line I, that's not correct. So the only vertical lines in the picture will be EF, EF, and GH. So EF and GH, because those are the only lines that we can name that are connected. Okay, and the horizontal lines, okay, are the ones that are lying across. And again, these need to be connected by two points. So, which means we have CD as a horizontal line. We have EG as a horizontal line. We have FH as a horizontal line. And we also have AB as a horizontal line. But it's also not incorrect if the kids would want to name AH because that's also a line. So, in essence, most of the times what will register in our kids' minds would be the E, the FH, and the AB. But technically, any combinations of the letters A, F, H, and B are all horizontal lines. That concludes Lesson 3 of Chapter 15, which also concludes the chapter. See you in the next chapter.